so here I've got the uh, the Seeduino, which is um, not really a copy, but uh, kind of similar to an Arduino. I think it has some different features. I think this one um, you can actually see just here. It's got some switches for auto, manual, uh, reset, and five volts or three point three volts. Um, <coughs> So this is the board that I'm using to make the temperature controller, um, as you can see. Um, right, so at the moment I've actually got I've got this sort of jerry rigged dark hole. I'll see if I can show you here. Um, I've got the um, humidity temperature sensor uh, just here, this blue guy here. Um, and what I've done is I've just really, really basically Set it up here. Um, I've got the um, got the five volt rail and ground going into the Arduino of the Arduino, um, and I've actually got the um, single uh, data line uh, looping back back over with the yellow cable back down into analog zero, um, and so that's where we're going to get the um, the data for the uh, you know the temperature and the humidity. Uh, temperature is the one I'm after. Um, so yeah, uh, let's plug it in. Right, so just using a USB cable for this one. Real basic stuff. Just one of those, and we'll just hook that into here. Yes, yeah, so. <coughs> Just a real basic setup, really. This is kind of how it's going to uh, be inside its case once it's done. Um, just use a USB from from main power, pretty much. Right, so let's chuck that guy in there. Right, and we're online, so it's got power there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's actually an LED blinking there between uh, one of the main chips and the Seeduino uh, logo uh, sign there. There it is. Now what that's doing is... Um, uh, I've, I've programmed it so that um, it blips really fast if the temperature is over the threshold and the threshold at the moment, uh, just for the sake of testing, is uh, 22 degrees. Um, anything under the threshold of 22 degrees, it'll actually uh, blink really slowly and really, uh, you know, a long interval between blinks. Um, so yeah, at the moment we can see that, you know, it's over the threshold. Um, so this will apply to um, the brewing in the sense that when the temperature gets too high, um, <coughs> instead of a blinking LED, what we'll have is actually a um, some relays. So this is this is actually instead of controlling an LED, this is going to control some relays, which controls the mains power going to the fridge, for example, and also we'll have a heating source. So yeah, that's that guy in action. I'll um, I'll see if I can cool it down a bit so I can. Um, show you guys how the um, LED changes and then I'll just warm it up and we can see it change. Right here. So here you can see the changed LED state is actually doing a really steady and slow uh, blink with long intervals um, opposed to the fast blinking uh, LED. So this, this one symbolizes uh, that the temperature is low uh, or below the threshold of 22 degrees. And um, actually, we'll see if I can see if I can get it to change. I'll um, just breathe on the sensor, and we'll see if we can warm it up a little bit. Yep, there you go. So, warming it up, um, it suddenly breaks the threshold of 22 degrees, and we've got a nice, nice fast blink. So that's how we're separating the two controls of the two relays that will actually be on the um, on the board, um, and that'll control the mains of the uh, fridge. Cool. So there you go. That's that's pretty much how it's going to work. Radio. So um, here I've um, I've actually plugged it into my computer to give it power. 
nice for now. Um, you can see it's on the slow blink, so it's below the threshold of 22 degrees at the moment. That's what it's sensing anyway. Um, right, so what we'll do is we'll jump in here, open up the Arduino software. <coughs> Might look a bit blurry to start with because I've got the focus on the camera. Um, so here's Oof, gosh, here's, here's the code anyway. Um, I've found uh, a bit of code online which helps um, me sort of template the idea. Um, so, so the code that I found actually um, is quite cool. Uh, let, let's watch it in action. Um, anyway, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the code there. So yeah, let's, let's check it out. We'll um, open the serial monitor. Which goes way up here, and um, pretty much this is what the this is what the program does. Um, it's basically just grabbing the analog signal from the um, humidity temperature sensor and just pumps it back into the computer and uh, runs the program here, um, and pretty much just just tells you, you know, there's your percentage of humidity. Um, which I guess is going down at the moment because I just changed room from the kitchen to the lounge. Uh, and there's your temperature. So you can actually see uh, it's actually below the threshold right now. So uh, I know here's, here's another test we could just show you. So slow blink below the threshold of 22 degrees. And if I breathe on the sensor just to warm it up. There we go, so it's heating up there, you can see it's changed from 21 straight up to 28, 27 and um, got our nice fast blink going on there. The red blink is to do with um, data being pulled off the uh, device uh, and obviously that's, uh, that's coming into here. So. <coughs> yeah, so that, that's, that's pretty much that. Um, so with the code anyway, so here we've um, sort of declared a variable, the uh, LED on pin 13, digital 13. Um, I have also popped in a bit here, LED is an output, which makes sense, it is an LED. Um, yeah, here's, here's the if statement I've chucked in. Um, so here we go, we've got DHT-2. Um, DHT is half of the model of the uh, actual sensor. Uh, the sensor is a DHT11, um, and I think uh, what we've got here, DAT data, um, data type number two, I think, which is actually the uh, first, uh, the first numbers uh, before the decimal point of the temperature, uh, which you can read off the device. There is. Uh, data 0, 1 and 3. So there's four in total and um, yeah, each of them signifies whether it's the number before or after a decimal. So um, it can give you a fairly uh, accurate uh, reading on temperatures, uh, which is really good. Um, and we scroll down a bit more. Well, we don't need to scroll really. Um, uh, so it's saying if the uh, temperature is higher yeah, than 22 degrees because of got the sign there, um, then we want the LED to go high, which means turn it on, uh, and then delay 50 seconds, no not 50 seconds, 50 milliseconds, and um, then we want the LED to go low, which is off, and then delay 25 milliseconds. So that's the fast flash, uh, where by, you know, the heat goes up a little bit. Um, and if we scroll down a little bit more, else or otherwise, uh, LED on, delay <coughs> about one and a half seconds, and then LED off, and then delay three quarters of a second. 
so that is pretty much that. Um, and, and that's how we're getting the effect of the LED turning off and on and, and blinking at different rates and things. So what I'm going to do with that is um, actually change it so that we can uh, get it to support these relays which I've got. And I'll show you these. Uh, I think they're in the packet still. Uh, you might be able to see. I don't know. Yeah, here, here you go. Um, here's one there. And so what have we got here? Got a couple of um, the pins. Um, so this is a solid state relay, so this will actually work quite well in the sense that it will probably go forever, no moving parts or anything like that, which is pretty cool. And uh, I've got I've got two of those, um, so I have one controlling heat and one controlling cooling um, to keep the brew at a nice steady temperature. Yeah, so that's pretty much where we're at at the moment, just testing, making sure things work, and um, yeah, that's it for that update. Cheers!